Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me in another video. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and a voiceover because I haven't done one of those kind of videos in absolutely ages. So I'm just starting off by applying my favourite eyeshadow primer potion, which is eyeshadow primer potion from Urban Decay in the shade Eden. I'm then using the Nivea lip balm just to make sure my lips are all nice and soft and moisturised. And today I'm using the Shanexo palette from BH Cosmetics and I'm going in with this top left shade, the creamy one, and that is just to set down my primer potion to make sure that all the eyeshadows go on smoothly. I'm then going in with this light matte orange shade on a big fluffy brush and I'm blending that through the crease and upwards just because I have hooded lids and this is the easiest way to do it to make sure that you still see the colour when my eyes are open. Girls and guys with hooded lids, you will know my issue with those. And that was hay fever problems. So now, bottom left shade is this gorgeous dark brownie shade. I've um, got a little bit of sparkle in it. And I'm going to pop that into the inner corners and the outer corners of the eye and leave the eyelid, the middle of the lid, sorry, completely free. Because I'm going to do a really soft, subtle um, halo eye today. And then taking a smaller fluffy brush and just blending those lines out just so there's nothing harsh and it's nice and soft. And I'm then going in with a fluffy brush and just reapplying that light orange colour because it got a little bit lost whilst we were blending. So now for the middle of the halo, I'm taking this beautiful creamy white shade. And again on that same brush, I'm just going to pop that into the centre of the eye. It's so, so pretty and it really draws the light in. It's a gorgeous shade to do a halo eye with. And now we're going to add a tiny little bit of this darker colour just on the very, very outs, outs, <laughs> outskirts, the outer V of the eye. I'm not taking that into the, like the inner bit, um, beside like, oh, what am I even saying? You can see where I'm putting this, people. <laughs> now for this rustic orangey shade, I'm taking a little bit of that and blending it through the crease as well, just because I felt like it needed a little bit more kind of depth in the crease. And now for eyeliner, I'm taking my Super Cat Eyeliner by Soap and Glory and doing a little wing, just as I normally do. Wow. Well done. That's really good. I know, eh? Will you got match? No. <laughs> <laughs> now for mascara, I'm taking the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. This is a waterproof version. And I'm just popping that on my top eyelashes. Now for foundation, I'm taking my Rimmel Last and Finish foundation along with the lightning drops from the body shop. I'm just mixing those together on the back of my hand and then dot on a whole load all over my face. I'm going to blend this out with a damp Real Technique sponge and I'm also not going to show you what else I do to my skin because it's all the same as what I've done in my recent foundation routine. I'll leave that video linked in the description box down below if you want to have a little look and check that out. The, the foundation I am always testing today and it wasn't that good so I don't recommend that one. Um, the only thing I did differently from the foundation routine which is linked in the description box is the bronzer. I use my bronzer from the Tanya Bar. I think it's called the Peachy Glow Palette. Um, I really, really like this bronzer. Um, I tried to kind of darken up my foundation with it because I slightly, I made it a bit too light. Um, so it looks a little weird just now, but it does actually work once everything else is on. So I'm also taking the blusher and the highlighter from this palette as well. Um, it's so, so nice. It's like a really nice apricot shade, which goes well with the eyeshadow and the lipstick I'm going to use. And the highlighter is a really nice champagne shade, which is beautiful as well. So I'm just applying that all over my face, on the usual places, like the cheekbones and the nose and the brows and the lips and everywhere else that you want to glow like an angel. And now for these awful brows, I'm going to be using my HD brow palette, but I'm not going to show it on camera. And the magic of eyebrows and editing. <laughs> now I'm taking this rustic... Oh, sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> 
Now I'm taking this rest of the corn shade and I'm popping that under my lower lash line just using a shorter, no, smaller, smaller is the word I was looking for, smaller fluffy brush and that's the only colour I'm putting underneath the lash line. I'm going to add in another little bit of mascara and I'm going to have a sing song because who else doesn't love to sing when they do their makeup? Not that I can sing. Has up in the comments if you love to sing as well. It's time to rest. You can close your eyes, you've done your best. Let me be a safe place to fall. Now I'm going in with lipstick. This is a little lippy from Bare Minerals. I can't remember the shade. But um, I thought it was a little bit more orange than what it turns out. It kind of comes out more ready. So once it's on and I have a little look in the mirror, I think I'm just going to change it. So I'm using this lipstick from Makeup Revolution. It's the shade Inclination. And I think this kind of like dulls it down and makes it a bit more orange, which is fab. And then I'm, I'm attempting to get some setting spray out of this bottle. It's empty. It's empty. For hair, I'm using my Got To Be Heat Protection. I'm just squishing that all over and then brushing it all through. When you do this, it does make your hair look greasy, but it's not. It's just damp. Just in case anybody out there wondered. <laughs> Now this is the total easy lazy girl guide to straightening your hair. I just take a little section at a time and straighten it. <laughs> I don't put it in layers or anything. I would usually do that if I hadn't straightened my hair, if I'd like just blow dried it, but I just had it up in a loose bun at night and um, yeah, so I didn't really take long to straighten. I didn't like to, I don't like to put too much heat on it, so I just run it through really gently and quickly. And also, the hairspray that I was using, it leaves little white bits in your hair, so that little bit is definitely not dandruff. It is just a bit of hairspray, which is super annoying, but hey-ho, get all problems. Now, I'm using my Got To Be Oilicious um, Taming Oil. It's just for frizz and flyaways, and I have loads of that because I have naturally very, very curly hair. I'm now taking about half of my hair. I'm just taking it through, like, kind of ear section, so just running my fingers along the ears to pick up some hair and scraping it back. I'm trying to do this, uh, to be honest, I'm, I can't do hair on camera. It is very, very difficult. I can't explain what I'm doing. I'm not good at doing hair. I just kind of do it what works for me. So I'm using the viewfinder to, as a mirror, because um, I don't usually do hair on camera. So you can see here, I'm not very good at this, but I'm just putting it in a little bun and scraping some forward and putting a little curvy in to keep it there. And now I'm using Got To Be Hairspray. I just realised it's all got to be, that is so strange. <laughs> I do like that range though. Yeah, that's the hair done. These are some shots of my outfit. My um, jumper is from New Look. It's a gorgeous burnt orange colour. And my jeans and my shoes are from Primark and my bag is from Radley. So yeah, uh, it was a cute little outfit and I felt cool in the middle of town taking these pictures. <laughs> so here are some shots of my makeup. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it was weird doing a voiceover, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, please subscribe and give the video a big thumbs up and I will see you next Sunday with another video. Bye!